Suno Hazardo. Yes, we have Snow Hazard today. Following up from my insane clay burst booster box yesterday, which absolutely recommend watching if you haven't already. There's some very interesting uh, pull in that uh, booster box. Um, but yeah, Snow Hazard is the, the, the for not in my opinion, but it's uh, the cheaper of the set. Uh, some may say the lesser of the two, which I uh, disagree with. I think there is amazing artwork in this set. There's a Grusha special art rare, Giacomo special art rare, and the, the, the Tomokazu Komiya art rare line for the Arcti Backscalibur line, yes. Uh, which are, in my opinion, very cool. Um, let's just open it and let's see what you can get. The Squawkabilly EX, uh, EX special art rares are also very nice. So, uh, all in all, it's a very nice uh, set, in my opinion. Definitely getting overshadowed by Clayburst, sadly. But uh, let's uh, see what you get. As you already saw with others, the test trip is back. Which I don't... Yeah. this It won't help for reseals. I've discussed this already. You can easily bypass it with a sharp enough knife. And uh, yeah, let's see what this box has in store for us. This seal's a little bit stubborn. Yes, there we go. That goes to seal. No turning back. Oh yeah, forgot. We need to... Uh, that went quite smoothly. Perfect opening. Luckily I can preserve this box now. You never know who wants empty booster boxes for display. Yes, there is a market for it. Let's see, can we open this pack very nicely? Yes, we can. There we go. You never know. Want to preserve one pack at least. Maybe in 10 years. We will all be nostalgic. Well, first pack. Got a nice dance pass. It's a very nice. Qfint, if I believe. By Oswaldo Cato. A very nice artwork. Looks straight from a, from a, a book. Secchio. What was this called again? Because I really... This 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 Pokemon creeps me out. It, it looks like sort of homunculus or something like that. It's so crazy. The Titan is, in my opinion, a cool Pokemon. But this looks very, very weird, strange. So they succeeded with designing this Pokemon if they intended it to be uh, a strange Pokemon. And the Ice Cube by Kawaiyo. And this is, uh, what's it called again? Mustiff? Mabostiff. Yeah. Not bad. Alright, now let's go over to the scissors. Yeah, and, and I like to take my time with packs. Especially nowadays, you know. Booster boxes are not easy to find anymore for retail. So, uh... Let's enjoy while we still can. Well, my Rookie D, if I believe so. There's one. I hope I can get one of the Artras. That's fine. I forgot what this is called again, this Pokemon. Ah, oh, I can't remember right now. But it's a very nice artwork by Nagimi, so amazing art rare. Not bad at all. To the next pack. Really should get a very sharp Japanese scissor. This one is still does the still does the job, just does the job. But as you can see, 
is struggling a little bit. This was uh, a couple of yours, Bl blunt scissor <laughs> from a from a stationery shop. But uh, we got a nice Yukamori Polti guys. No, what's this called again? Not Polti guys, but ah, oh, I, I really am bad with uh, rem remember names. Steeny. Oh, I, I don't I don't know what this. Uh, I I've seen the name, just can't remember it's it's a name. Oh well, there's the Titan. Oh, it's an amazing art. Amazing art. I may pl I, I may uh, might make a fun deck with the the core core promo, with the flip uh, heads. I think one for each three, you can flip three times, and uh, for each head you can hit one hundred something like that. But um. I do think it's a nice uh, Pokemon. From a happy homunculus to uh, a beast, a titan. Is it, is it regarded as a sub um, pseudo legendary like Tarantar? Who knows? But I think it does. Well, let's see. Can we get. There's a first hollow. I for I cannot remember its name. Oh, that's a very nice one. By uh, Jerky, Sudo Wudo. I am still thinking of the one five one set because the one five one set it's going to be a hit regardless. So, are they going to do a? 251 set. I would love a uh, Johto set, honestly. And it would make sense. Because why not? If they want to make money. But I do know they are conservative with Ho Oh Lugia. I think I saw something in there. It was the hollow. It's a Vigoroth. Um, very nice Murkrow by Tier Zero. I've got this one as well. And uh yeah, Wo Chan. Live Wo Chan reaction. Yay. Sorry for that. I, st I do think for five bank graphics, 3D CG, it does not look half bad. Next pack. I think we're like three, four packs in. I think four, five. I think I have five. Just coming back to the market. Oh, wait, the market can wait. That is that is fantastic. Saucer artwork, fantastic art artwork. Coming back to the market. Yeah, I, th I do think it's crazy that uh, Grusha Special Art Rare is 25,000 yen. And I think that even is on the higher side on the market. I don't know, it's 150 Special Art Rare. It's so like... Th wait. <laughs> Meryl Art Rare. That is fantastic. Amazing. And this one is a new artist, by the way, if I believe so. Atsuya Uki. I hope I've pronounced it correctly. And there is Grusha, yeah, yes. But coming back to the Grusha discussion, I think it's absolutely crazy that a card like that is like worth 15% of Iona special hardware. And what's funny is that in terms of special hardware, artwork, I prefer the Grusha. And it's not that I don't like Iono, but in terms of pure artwork, I think the Grusha is more special looking to me than the Iono. The Iono, it could have been a regular super rare, in my opinion. Yes, it includes a bunch of Pokeballs and, and nice decorations. You know, just like when Iono is streaming. But I do think the Grusha and even the Giacomo and the other one again, uh, Giugiaro, I'm not sure. They look more special to me. They are more in the element and special art rares 
you know, special art where art where they are supposed to be characters in the element. So Iono, yes, of course, she is in her element. She's streaming on Iono Zone. So yeah, I get it. But I think the pose could have been a little bit uh, better, in my opinion. But um, yeah, can we get something else? We already got two art rares. That is not bad at all. No early hit, which I prefer. I always hate <laughs> when I get uh, the, the booster box hit within the couple first packs, especially on video. Because, you know, when I'm pulling off camera, I don't care. would prefer to get hits early so I can stop pulling packs, opening packs. It's a nice Shibuzo artwork. Doesn't fit with this Pokemon. I'm honest about it, but hey, can I be mad on Shibuzo artwork? No. What's it called again? Um, Serena. Yes, amazing. Card by uh, Asushi Furusawa. Bronze on. Looks a little goofy. Really neat. Pair of scissors. <laughs> One thing I've learned. Don't ever cheapen out on tools. Especially the tools you want to use daily. And that's a very good lesson. This is the Dun Sparse. I think there's also an artware of the Dun Sparse. Or something like that. But um, yeah, the, the future. I uh, don't know. Um, let's first wait and see what 151 does. That will be uh, a banger of a set. And I've seen some people talk about the revealed EX cards so far. That they are 3D CG. That they don't like that. Yeah, I agree. Don't like 3D CG. But that's part of that plan. Same with EV Heroes. Most V cards, the regular ones, were 3D CG. So what you get is, is a very nice tactic of creatures. Who nice uh, s slacking holo. And what you get essentially is they will then the people are pull opening packs and they want and they've seen likely the special art rares and the art rares so people want to open more packs of that set because of that and the same hand with EV heroes you know you're not satisfied pulling a, a double rare or triple rare vov max yes sylveon and umbreon were amazing artwork hand drawn the thumb oh no <laughs> We got a Koparaja EX Super Rare. I, you know, this 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 should have this happened naturally. I put Iono yesterday, and now I'm uh, having this. Then again, I can still get a uh, double hit from a booster box, but that's very unlikely. N not bad at all. Do like the texturing. That is not bad. But uh, would I have preferred uh, Grusha or uh, something special Artra? Yes, of course. Would have preferred an SAR, but hey. That's uh, why you're opening booster boxes. And I have not opened a booster box for market price. I've obtained it via retail price, so again, I don't care. I enjoy the amazing artwork. I would have been, I would not have been mad if I would have have pulled Iono from Clayburst because again, the art's so nice, and I've paid MSRP for it essentially, of course, excluding shipping, 
input fees, but still, that's still uh, very nice. But um, yeah, paying above MSRP triple or quadruple is crazy, in my opinion. And these sets all are not always about the chase cards, in my opinion. You know, if I were a Japanese person who could have get gotten booster box like this, I would be very happy. B because there are playable cards in there still. It's a very nice Shinji Kanda Bronzor. Yeah, that, that's fabulous. It's a love disc. Masquerade, if I believe so. Another pseudo Udo. We still need to, to pull one Artra. I would hope to be it an Art Arctibex Artra. Taranto Artra was also one of my chase cards from the Artra set, but it's a clay burst. So, all right. Could not do anything, right? Mimikyu, that's one that you want to pull. Cannot complain with Mimikyu. All right, I think we have seen most of the set. This engine is also quite uh, good to use in the playable uh, competitive scene. I think we are a little more than halfway from one booster box. Bounce sweet, Menki. There he is, Giacomo. Does Annihilab have a special art? I, I don't think so. In this set, Annihilate is just so so one of these Pokemon uh, re uh, no, variants uh, evolutions. That's really cool. It really reminds me of, and I think it's definitely inspired of Super Saiyan or Gon from Hunter x Hunter, because he's such a rage. <laughs> That's just so amazing. Cannot wait to see special art of of something like that in. Uh, What's it called again? Shiny Treasure. Hopefully that's uh, an hybrid spec. And uh, Morikura is also back. That's the, the artist that did um, Caitlyn, Aroma Lady, and uh, who more? I forgot right now, but uh, amazing artist. And especially for supporter cards. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to have uh, Paddy evolved one month after uh, after now, something like that. Really start start after one month, so can't wait to get my hands on it. And it's not necessarily about Iono. Almost uh, I thought it was a super rare, something like that. Squawkabilly EX. This one is also going to be used competitively, not necessarily highly competitively, but it seems to play. Not bad. But yeah, I can't wait to uh, attend pre-release. I'm not afraid of Iono being very expensive, the regular one. Uh, it, this set is going to be so much available. Back in the day, I remember uh, N was I think 3-5 euros for one card. But times have changed dramatically during that period. It's, it's crazy. Looks a little bit washed out for some reason. I'm not sure. Have to check. The Kuparaja EX to match. Uh -huh. No, it's not washed out. That's uh, it's correct. Well, we 
We still haven't uh, gotten our Terra type EX. I forgot which Terra types were in this set. I, I have to check just a second. Terra type Snow has it. Oh, there's um, Slow King, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's the only Terra type. The set. Oh, and there we <laughs> we have it. Speaking of Terra Type EX, there we, there we are. Not bad at all. Let's give you a close up. There are some scratches on the right side by the 130. That's not part of the texturing. But I think, like I said in the previous video, I think Teratype EXs are very nice. Prefer, I believe, I think I prefer these ones over the super rare versions. What I do think is a missed opportunity is that the Terratype EXs should have been a little bit more transparent, you know, or something crazy or, or something that makes the card very special. I think this is okay, but not special enough. Yeah, something like a transparent foil layer or something. Like, yeah, so I'm just thinking. If it, uh, I, I don't think it will be legal for play, but hey. I think that they did a nice job overall with Terra types. I don't think we have much more to pull except for one AR card, if I believe. I think we've pulled three regular EXs. Here's the Velusa, if I believe so. Shift left seven. All right. I think from here on out, I will uh, speed it up a little bit. Corviknight. See more repeats. Yeah, I'll definitely get a, a place of Iono in English. This one's also coming back. Really like the tree of this uh, Honch Crow. Amazing. Really hope my Kumiya playmat brings the luck. Pulling one of the Kumir Artrares. Almost. Yeah, but again, 151. Who I, I I at least hope they will do Artrares of the starters. There have never been, I think, starters of those cards. And I th do think Evolutions should have included full arts of the, the starters, candle starters. Especially with Professor Oak uh, in, the, in, the, in the background, you know, one big picture of choose a starter from a Pokeball. I think that should have been the way to go. And hopefully it will be in, in, in uh, 151. I really hope so. Would it be so nice. You can see all the Orthworm. The ultra is also very nice, very nice Dune reference. But yeah, really hope they will do the, the ultra justice. I believe they are not being confirmed yet that they will include ultra but hey, <laughs> is there? I think it's the main selling point. Ultra is special ultra. No way they are not going to do that for those Pokemon. And we have a so so ultra of the tumbleweed Pokemon. I don't know what Pokemon this is. What the name is. 
Very nice. Last two packs. Will we get something else? That's the question. I think we, uh, if we get one hollow, it's done. Hey, never say never. You never know. Come on, go out. There we go. Nothing. And our final pack. This is why I hate blunt scissors. See? Okay, let's open it uh, normally. Can we get a double hit box? Don't fu don't go away. No, we can't. Well, that's everything for now. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, snow hazard booster box opening and uh, of course you know it was to be expected after my luck yesterday that i didn't go with a special out rare this time um like comment subscribe as usual and uh, what do you think about this opening leave it uh, again comments down below and have a nice day everyone goodbye